Hello and welcome to my tutorial. In this tutorial I'll show you how to make a studio render with V-Ray lighting uh, in 3ds Max. I'm currently using 3ds Max 2009 64-bit uh, and I'm using V-Ray uh, 1.5 uh, Service Pack 2. It should translate to all of the other 3ds Max or V-Rays. Okay, let's get started. Click on plane and make a plane. Uh, oops, big as a grid. Uh, click on square and make it big as the grid. Uh, make the length and the width segments to one. Now right click on it and click convert to add a little poly. Uh, click on the edge selection tool and click on this edge click on the move tool and go to your left view and by holding shift drag out a backdrop like this drag up whoops by holding shift again drag up and yeah make it like this and this the top uh, line or plane should be bigger than the bottom and make a big backdrop bigger bigger than the the two I'm looking at the grid so it's two squares and this is one square okay uh, add a add a turbo smooth effector uh, turbo smooth make the interlations three and make it big or Y so we have space okay now make uh, go to your create panel uh, and make an object inside your uh, studio I'll make a uh, I'll make the famous uh, 3ds max teapot uh, something like this yes and I'll actually make this uh, smaller because it's too big uh, okay let's see it like this and I'll make the teapot too uh, smaller like this okay uh, turn on your safe frame and yeah like this uh, create a camera and now go to your render settings by clicking rendering and go to render setup or click F10 or this little icon here and assign your V-Ray render I'm, I was I had it assigned but I'll assign it again so it resets uh, on the output size I'll uh, select HD and uh, okay now click on V-Ray uh, on image sampler and select uh, Mitchell Netravalli or I don't know click it and go to your color mapping select exponential and what else uh, go to your V-Ray Indirect Illumination GI turn it on and the secondary bounces should be on light cache make the light cache uh, 250 and click on show calc face um, go to your uh, irritants map and select the very low preset okay and show calc face okay uh, and go to your V-Ray system and make the render region uh, 32 okay now uh, go to your material editor and make a new V-Ray material uh, there it is add it to your backdrop uh, and make a new V-Ray material 
make the, the diffuse light uh, the diffuse color pure white and the reflects uh, 50 50 50 that should do great I think we could do even 40 50 is a little bit high okay click OK uh, now add it to your teapot and now let's create some V-Ray lights go to your left view zoom in with alt and W and click on your lights uh, create panel select V-Ray and make V-Ray uh, light make a light like this and um, make the multiplier um, 5 and the color a light blue color like this uh, zoom out and go to your top view select your light I'll freeze my uh, my uh, studio or uh, my backdrop because I keep selecting it and drag your V-Ray light uh, right here like, like this now by holding shift drag it out so you create a copy select copy ok and then mirror it by clicking this icon it should mirror it uh, 180 degrees uh, go to your modify panel and make the multiplier 10 on this uh, light and make the color uh, light yellow sort of I'll even move my uh, my thing oh and I'll make the same stand on the, the teapot so it's nice and smooth uh, make a new uh, V-Ray light and make it uh, like this so it's this wide and this uh, length uh, zoom out and go to your left view and drag it up like this and just uh, rotate it so it's a uh, pointing at this backdrop go to your uh, modify panel on this light and select color I don't know, again with light blue but very light sort of like white uh, make the multiplier 5 uh, what else uh, well we only have to render it to see I'll make my teapot in the center it may look awful uh, in the perspective view but don't worry it will look better and click render oh yeah sorry I forgot to mention this uh, but make all of the lights invisible sorry so we don't see him invisible okay now uh, let's see okay already looking good very awesome okay but as you notice uh, here we have a uh, black space that's our background uh, so the way we fix that is let's close this and go to rendering environment and make the background color white okay let's make a, another render and as you see there's no black anymore awesome and there's a cool reflection of the lights that are here and here uh, okay well uh, this is uh, 
this is the, the tutorial, but if you want uh, the final render, if you want to look better, the final render just uh, wait, I clicked the wrong icon. Just uh, go to your render settings and go to indirect illumination and scroll down to light cache and make the subdivisions uh, 1000 and render it out. I'll pause the video because this renders. Uh, okay. Okay, it rendered out. As you see, it's very well done. Um, the noise is uh, very little. And yeah, that was the tutorial. I hope you liked it. Uh, and, well, see ya.